आइए स्टूडेंट्स वी वर डिस्कसिंग मार्क्सिस थ्योरी ऑफ कल्चर अब आफ्टर ब्रीफ टॉक सो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अप टिल नाउ दैट हाउ मार्क्स एक्सप्लेन्ड द ओरिजिन ऑफ कल्चर कल्चर बेसिकली स्टार्ट्स व्हेन ह्यूमन बीइंग्स वर्क टुगेदर राइट बोथ टू थिंग्स दे वर्क एंड दे वर्क टुगेदर एंड दे एक्सप्रेस देयर क्रिएटिविटी एंड अनदर थिंग हियर which this marks has pointed out is that they work out of need first of all because they they have physical needs and therefore they have to work secondly and more more important they perhaps is that uh they also work for aesthetic reasons this is a very interesting point and very important point uh, in in marx's theories of theory of culture that human beings work to pursue beauty they they love beauty and therefore in their appreciation of beauty beauty they create many things so their productive work basically is uh, triggered by need as well as uh, as well as aesthetics and i would like to discuss here that an important uh, social and uh, we can say uh, social thinker in muslim society in in, in in indian muslim society recently shah waliullah recently means uh, i mean 18th century he has also discussed the same thing and he was before karl marx shah waliullah died in 1760s and karl marx was born in 1818 so shah waliullah Shamila's famous book is Hujjatullah al-Balagha. This book Hujjatullah al-Balagha which has been translated into English by Marcia K Hermansen. She is a uh, I mean great scholar and uh, she has translated Hujjatullah al-Balagha into English. Hujjatullah al-Balagha means basically the conclusive argument from god a conclusive argument of from god and here shavilla has discussed uh, many things which are covered in psychology and sociology and political science so he has discussed human nature and he has discussed uh, essential essential attributes of human nature and here he has discussed that human beings have what he has termed as hubul jamal hubul jamal hubul jamal it means love of the beauty so shavilla has given the example that human beings not only uh, eat but they want to eat in beautiful vessels they want to have very good looking cups and glasses so this is not out of any physical need because because their taste uh, increases when they when they eat in beautiful utensils so hubul jamal is part of the productive work same the exactly same point has been discussed by karl marx so so, so just to uh, add this up in the previous discussion in in the marxist theory of culture so this is the condition when there is no exploitation and no oppression in society human beings are free so there is no issue of private property there is no issue of uh, uh, i mean class differences all people are pursuing the work what they love to do they are doing they are expressing themselves so this is the origin of culture uh, but we, we have discussed that when exploitation and oppression comes they are alienated working class is alienated so what happens in this in this scenario so there are actually a number of interpretation interpretations of karl marx karl marx has not i mean rigorously written about culture so all theories of uh, culture marx systems of cultures have been basically derived from various writings of karl marx and there is much difference between marxist scholars 
Marxist sociologists about uh, what Marx is saying. There are numerous interpretations. So one interpretation, for example, is says that, uh, and they have I mean, quotations from Karl Marx, um, and particularly from his uh, economic and philosophical manuscripts of 1844, and from Das Kapital as well, that the dominant class has the dominant ideology and therefore the culture of the whole society basically is the culture of the dominant class and as is his famous uh, saying that ideas of ruling class or ideas of rulers are rulers of ideas very famous saying ideas of rulers are rulers of ideas and therefore, from logically here, he says that, I mean, you, we can say that uh, culture of rulers would be, would be the ruler of cultures. I mean, so dominant culture would prevail. So, so this is how, uh, and here he also says that, uh, we all know that his, his, uh, his concept of society, basically Karl Marx is, uh, there is, criticism of Karl Marx, that he is a reductionist. To some extent this is true. Uh, although again there are uh, people who defend Karl Marx that he is not reductionist. But as he gives the theory that everything is ultimately determined by economics. So economic determinism we find in Karl Marx. So it means that the material or economic conditions of society, basically they are the infrastructure or the foundation of society and the superstructure of society in which culture is the most important thing and literature and philosophy and religion and so all that basically is superstructure and that is just an effect so all the causes come from economics and they affect the superstructure so so it means that uh, it means that culture would reflect uh, would reflect culture of an age would reflect economic conditions of that age and uh, therefore it is just a reflection it has no independent existence it all culture depends on uh, and culture in both senses in wider sense as well as in restricted sense it all depends on material and economic conditions so this is how uh, Marx would explain culture and it is dominant and secondly another part of his theory is that uh, culture basically as we have different class classes so there would be different cultures so upper class would have its own culture and uh, middle class culture and then lower class culture so class basically is the essential thing which would determine the culture so First is dominant class theory and second is that class ultimately determine culture. And here particularly in the, in the restricted sense of the word, as we say that culture in the sense of uh, product creative activity of human beings in which they produce art and literature and dance and all these things. So that is particularly shaped by the class conditions or therefore the novels for example or short poems poetry produced by middle class were different from poets of upper class I mean which is not easily discussed by I mean Marxist or to defend if this is the case then it would be we say that art and culture and literature of a particular person basically so every human being who is speaking or writing as, as a writer as a producer of culture he is basically reflecting all that conditions of his of his class so so a muslim socrates have, yeah, plato here for example or we have uh, uh, we have discussed in this book uh, Goethe here, for example, or uh, so every genius is basically uh, is also not different from this formula. 
if this is if we make this formula as universal so uh, Engels the friend of Karl Marx he has a tendency to give some allowance and some some space to the genius and imagination and creativity of human beings. They, they sometimes they can go beyond the class boundaries. So he has given the example of poetry, for example. So, इस तरह से जो है हम गालिब का मिसाल अब गालिब को सिर्फ ये कहना अमीर खुसरो को ये कहना कि they were only reflecting the the values of their own class. ये ये थोड़ा मुश्किल होगा ऑल दो देर पर्टिकुलर सोसाइटल बैकग्राउंड देर टेस्ट इज डिटर्मेंड बाय सोशल फोर्सेस लेकिन उसमें देर इज एन एलिमेंट ऑफ यूनिवर्सैलिटी एज वेल एज एंड दैट इज वाई वी रीड दैम आज हम बिल्कुल एक मुख्त सोसाइटी में जिंदा है इफ सोसाइटी इज एवरीथिंग तो देर इज नो पॉइंट इन रीडिंग रीडिंग क्लासिक्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल सो आई वॉन्ट डिस्कशन ऑन दिस पॉइंट थैंक यू वेरी मच